We've got those shower chances that are rolling in from Tennessee right now. We're talking about that big threat developing after a day of 50s. It's hard to imagine that we're turning wintry by early tomorrow morning. It was nice to have had the sunshine though today, and we've got temperatures that are down into the 30s in a few spots like Sparta. You see 37 degrees there. We've got you at 45 degrees in Walnut Cove, 48 in Greensboro to 45 out in Winston-Salem, and you're at 48 in North Wilkesboro. These are the zones we're most concerned about for tomorrow with the winter weather advisory that's going to be issued. It's all thanks to this system that's rolling out of Tennessee now showers are on the way, but for us as temperatures dip down into the 30s, it could create some freezing rain and we may see a light glazing take place. And with that, it could be about a quarter of an inch on our trees and those upper elevations especially might be more susceptible to this. So sporadic power outages are possible. We have one to three inches of snow and sleet combination possible too, but we don't expect as much in the way of actual accumulation on the ground. This is going to be a very widely transitioned system as we go through the early morning hours where we have slippery road conditions for sure. And then we're going to see this switch back and forth, possibly from freezing rain to some snow and sleet before we see a rain changeover in the mountains. We have impact hours on all day through six o'clock at least, and rain chances are high along with freezing precipitation. This also includes the foothills. You notice we're hovering near the freezing marker below for several hours in the morning, and this is where we could get that light glazing as we watch the temperatures aloft also uh, cool. So we're looking at those rain chances developing through the afternoon as we gradually warm up into the upper 30s, but that's about it. For the triad in southern Piedmont especially, we may see rain and then a little bit of wintry mix in terms of a few pockets of sleet, possibly a little bit of snow mixing in, but we don't expect it to accumulate to anything. We're looking though at some slick spots for folks in the northern Piedmont, the foothills and the mountains and the best risk for that severe weather of course is west where we had the winter weather advisories. These areas here are going to be colder for longer noticing low 30s early morning. Foothills also could see that onset of snow mixing with sleet. You see that here in the purple and even some freezing rain possibilities too. We're looking at snow then mixing out as we get you through the midday hours. We begin to see that transition to mostly just rain, but I would not be surprised to see some big wet flakes across parts of the triad. Temperatures hovering in the upper 30s. Overall, not a great day to be out on the roads. Even if you don't have slick conditions because temperatures should be above freezing in the triad, you're still going to have to deal with wet roads, and that's a concern too. But slippery weather more likely in the mountains. We'll be watching for a chance for sporadic outages and seeing how much we can get accumulated on those trees. Hopefully not too much, but it does look like we are going to be seeing winter weather advisories there. Cold 30s, maybe some 40s in the southern Piedmont for folks down to the south. Triad and foothills, we're looking at those cold showers also for you and sleet and flurries, but now the foothills have been placed in that winter weather advisory and so wet roads a little later for you, but it's more likely those slippery concerns will stay in place in the mountains. We've got daylight saving time also beginning Sunday 2 a.m. So we're setting our clocks ahead by one hour officially at 2 a.m. We're springing forward and you see 736 for your sunrise then with 726 for your sunset and hopefully we'll be able to see a peak of sunshine or at least clear skies getting you closer to that sunset, but it might take some time. So definitely looking at the next two days where we are cooler and cold with freezing conditions. And a reminder, this is a good time also to check your smoke detector batteries and your test your uh, carbon monoxide uh, batteries as well and making sure you're keeping those extra heating devices away from curtains, etc. Coming up in the next few days, we've got concerns for frost and freeze all the way through your Wednesday and Thursday morning. So that's why we have impact days on for you there. Seven day forecast stretches out with daylight saving time beginning, of course, officially at 2 a.m. tomorrow morning for springing forward with 56 degrees highs on Monday. That's springing back up into more March like temperatures, although still running below normal through Tuesday morning lows. We've got frost and freeze concerns all the way through Thursday impact days for that. Temperatures rebound though by the afternoon at 63 on Thursday, upper 60s to near 60 again on Saturday, and we look to hold off the rain most of the week. Rain chances back at 40% for next Saturday. All right.